There's statistical analysis that everybody should be doing their due diligence. They should be inspecting the properties. They should be looking at the, the numbers of it all. You should never bet on tomorrow. You should always look to see if you can make this work today. And what kind of down payment does that take to make this work? What kind of appropriate monies should be set aside? But nobody can talk you out of a deal faster than your little brain at 2 o'clock in the morning because you fed it doubt. Nobody can undo a deal that is set to close faster than someone who is, is, has let the fear of tomorrow outweigh all the due diligence, outweigh all of the, all of the book knowledge, all of the statistical facts that ensure that this deal is, is going to go the best that it can go. And it's 98% sure lock that we got a deal here that's going to be good. But your brain at 3 a.m. will tell you all kinds of stuff. And you guys, if you're going to get into real estate, you have got, you have got to figure out who you're going to take advice from. You have got to figure out who you're going to talk to about your doubts and your fears. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, if you're buying your second or your third or your fourth house, you're starting to get into the millions of dollars that you've got borrowed. And you have to understand that the fundamentals that work then are the fundamentals that work now are the fundamentals that are going to work in the future that are going to keep you paid, that are going to keep you from losing your assets, that are going to keep you from having to go back to that W-2 job, but doubt will rob you. And, and your Uncle Phil or your Aunt Jenny or the broke neighbor down the street that's never owned anything in his life is going to tell you, you can't have that. It won't work for you. It will never work. It never does. My uncle, my friend, this other guy I know. But if you look at it consistently, people that have wealth and, and have surrounded themselves with positive people that are constantly feeding their mind with the truth of, of the matter, constantly feeding themselves with edification on the matter, are the ones that aren't struggling with those decisions.